Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. And as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I have another piece of musical gear for sale, and this is a well sought out piece. It's hard to find these, especially for the price that I'm gonna give it to you, because uh, these normally go for seven, eight hundred dollars. When they were when they were brand new, they were like twenty four hundred dollars. I think was it twenty four. I think it might have been thirteen hundred. And this is the EMU P seven command station music production. I'm gonna stick it up to the camera. I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see that it works. This thing has a pretty nice size to it. It kind of reminds me of uh, the Kai MP stuff series. Let me turn it off off the back. Now, I'm a huge fan of EMU's stuff. The Proteus 2000 is probably the, one of the baddest uh, sound modules that ever came out. It was specifically designed for hip hop. You know, because like when the majority of these sound modules start to come out, uh, like the JV880, which came out like maybe 25 years ago, really nice sounds. I still have one to this day. This is my third one. But the music or the sound patches were just really geared for straight lace pop stuff and jazz stuff. And I'm like, jazz guys don't use this. And the, the demos were like um, Juilliard music composer demos. It's like... Those guys don't use this. So M E M M U got it right. They like these are the people or the group that we're trying to target our product to, and we're gonna give you demos and sound patches that link up to the style of music that you're playing. You know, and, and they got it right. I mean they got it right. And this thing, I'm gonna read some stats off and leave some down here. Also, I'm gonna leave you a link so you can go you can go to that site. And see all of the sound patches that are in here. And here's some of the demo songs. And what I'm trying to do actually in this video, because uh, I can't do it together. I'm going to have to split it up where there's going to be a moment of silence for me talking. And you're going to hear some of the demos that are in there. I'm going to insert it in here when I do the editing of this video. But uh, this thing is jam packed because it kind of has a feel of a, as far as physical weight. And kind of size of a Kai uh, 2000 XL. And uh, the price I'm going to give you guys, just the drum pass and the drum machine sounds in here alone are worth that. And uh, it has, it has like they say, two built-in sound modules. One of them is the Pure Fat. The other one I think is the Proteus 2000. And I'm going to read some stats off 128 voices polyphony. Now the reason why that's, important and i'm no techie guy most of the sound margins are 64 bit what happens is when you do say for instance eight uh layers of sequencing on this thing each time you add a sound patch it makes the the one prior thinner and then it and you add another one it makes that one thinner but when you got 128 voice polyphony like this in the 2000 uh, when i do sequences I could do sequences just on those alone and get a full sound when I finish my sequencing. Because normally what I have to do is MIDI up four modules and pull from three different modules or four different modules to get that fat forwardness sound. But with 128 voices, polyphony, you don't have to use nothing but the one module. Because when I first started working with the 2000, I would come to the studio and I let, you know, here's, let some of my band members hear that, hear it. When I dropped the tech down to that, it's like, how many modules did you use or what do you use? I'm like, I'm just using one. It's like, what? I'm like, yeah. And it sounded real full and fat with just one. 
And that's because it's 128 polyphony, which is twice as much as the normal ones, which is 64. So this one's 128 also. I'm sorry, I had food earlier today. I'm spitting on popcorn. Uh, it had 12 pads, kind of built, kind of on a line of the Kai MP60. 32 megabytes of hip hop sound, 16 track sequencer. Uh, like I told you, like three modules built into one. It has built in effects, 28, 24 bit. It has 116 presets. Uh, it has over, as far as sounds, it has over 1,000, where is that at? It's about 1,200 sounds in here. It's, it's a lot of stuff in this box. Uh, yeah, 1,000, 1,100, or 1,100. Uh, 512 RAM and 512 ROM. It has a super beat mode. It has an arpeggio. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Like I said, if you do tend to find them, you'll find them on Reverb. They're about six, seven hundred bucks. Because I was looking at one earlier for about six bucks, six hundred. So you know what? Because a lot of the drum sound I had in the Proteus. And then the problem with that was I had to uh, MIDI up a drum machine and pull them sounds out. But since this has pads and a uh, drum machine built in, I'm like, Again, I would like to just to have them drum sounds by, on, on by themselves. You know, they, they worth the amount of the money. Just them alone. So, uh, it has, like I said, over 1,000, 1,200 songs. And the drum pads, drum machine. See, now I'm about to lose my train of thought. It was the point I was trying to make. But, uh. And then it has a bunch of real-time uh, filtered, you know, people that want to mess with the sounds. And here's my thing. The people that design these are professional music designers. So I'm going to go behind them and tweak their sounds, really. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I think I can do better than them. That's my 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 mindset when it comes to all this knob turning and all that. I'm like, these guys are good at what they do. Just use what they have, you know. But you got some people that... You know, they want to all that noise, and that's what it is, just noise, you know. But, uh, yeah, like I said, this, this thing ranging anywhere from like six to $700. I've seen them recently for going for that price. You get you guys get this for $450 plus $50 shipping and handling. I repeat, $450 bucks shipping and handling, $50, bucks, and that's it. You know, this is a dynamite piece. And like I said, I'm going to insert some of these demos in here right now and then i'm coming back well actually i'm not going anywhere i'm just gonna sit here and y'all gonna listen to the music when i do the editing I, I dump it into this spot right here but uh i can't say enough about emu mu products they seem them and zoom seem to get it it's like okay the hip hip hop guys want this we're gonna give them this we're not gonna give them this stuff that usually uh, pop guys would use in their vid in their sound palette, you know, in their production. There's two different styles of music, you know. So, th so we're not going to force you to try to do a hip hop track with pop sound patches, you know. It ain't gonna go over. It ain't gonna go over well, you know. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna let you guys hear this. I'm keep I'm closing my mouth for a minute. And let you guys hear some of these demos in there.
Okay. So that was just kind of a sample of some of the stuff. It also has like, a, I say about 70, I guess, uh, some patterns. You know, so you can so you can listen to it and see what it's capable of before you dive in and start your own. Uh, it's in good condition. And I'm probably sticking back up to the camera. There are three knobs that are missing. I still don't understand. Don't understand why grown men start taking knobs off like they little curious kids. I mean, I don't get that, but. It's just the knob cover, you know, the switch itself is intact, so it's not a big deal. It doesn't uh, really stop the functionality of these knobs. But uh, I just, like I said, I don't get that. I don't know why grown men start taking knobs off like little kids and then can't find the knobs and put them back on. So, you know. So like I said, <clears throat> which is a heck of a deal. You know, I hate to get rid of this, but I'm at the stage of my life. My brain don't work like it did when it was 20 and my body don't perform like it was 20. Because I'm going to say this because it's interesting. We don't think about this. Now, as we get older, we think about the physical. We start getting a little weight. We can't run as fast. You know, we out of breath. You know, we can't lift like we used to lift. And we realize and understand you're just getting older. You know, you're not going to be 70 years old still doing what you did at 20. But nobody really thinks about the brain, the mind, you know, the neurological aspect, because that diminishes, too. You know, and like I said, I would like to keep this. But I'm like, you know what? I just don't feel like learning a new new system. I, I just don't. I'm still struggling with my Insonic ZR6, something, Z76. I think it's 76 keys. That thing got a lot of great features. I'm like, I, I'm still, and, and then what I, I notice what I have to do is I can't go long periods of time without messing with it because if I mess, don't mess with it for a couple of months, I, it's like starting over again. Uh oh, what was that button? How do I do this? You know, so I make it a point at least once a month to go through all of my stuff that I use and just go through it. You know, because again, it's, it's, as you get older, you, you just don't want to pile all that stuff back on and got to figure all this stuff. And, I mean, these are you. These are user friendly. The only systems that are really difficult is to me. It's like Yamaha and and Cork. You know, uh, and Sonic is a breeze. Alesis is a breeze. The Cork stuff. You know, it's like this doesn't make any sense. Why is this here? Why isn't this here? You know, but uh, that's the only reason why I won't keep it. You know, because uh. You got some great sounds, as you guys heard in the demo. I mean, this this thing is ready for hip hop, R and B grooves. You know, when you work on this, it sounds like some stuff that you will hear off the radio and still a that sound like that old cheesy stuff, and it sounds real, you know, cheesy. You know, it's it's not lining up and measuring up to the stuff that you hear on the radio. But uh, this thing here, it, it gets the job done. Like I said, it got a ton of features. And it's a good idea that they put all this stuff together. So again, 450, which is a steal. It's in good condition. It don't look like nobody didn't beat the heck out of the out of the past, like a lot of the NPC stuff, drum machine. When people keep them for a long time and you get them, you got some time literally replace the pads. But uh, this is so whoever had this kept kept it in, in really good condition. It's in real good condition. So again. First person to say, "Hey Morris, man, I want this." When you, when I, you know, when you tell me that, and then I agree. Okay, you got it. Then uh, once you submit your your funds, it'll go out the very next business day, and I will put on the uh, this header up here. So it'll go out the very next business day. Signature required. Tracking. Uh, you get to track, and once I come from the post office, I put it in pay PayPal system. They send you an email, and.